Hi everyone, in this video we're going to learn how to reserve a time for one of the Chrome parts for your classroom. So here I am in our Google Sheet that happens to look like a calendar and the first thing I noticed that on the bottom there are different tabs that I can use to select different months of the school year. So what I'm going to do is navigate to the month that I want to reserve uh, my time for. I'm looking for a, a day in December. So I click on the tab on the bottom to navigate to the December sheet. Um, I'll notice that a couple people have already signed up for times. I did want to reserve a time for 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on December the 10th, and I noticed that um, Greg has already had that time reserved. Now, we do have two Chrome carts, so it's not a problem if I want to reserve that same time. I would simply click in the cell with my mouse, and once that cell's highlighted, I can type the time as well as my name. That's important they have the time, too, so Joanne knows when to expect it out and when to expect the Chrome cart back in. When I click off of the cell and on any other cell, it saves my information for me. Um, I did notice that um, Sheila accidentally forgot to put the time that she wanted to, the Chrome cart reserved for herself on the 22nd. So when Sheila accesses this sheet, she could click on her name. And up here in the text box area, she could click after her name and add the time in there as well. And then again, when you click onto another cell, it automatically saves your results. Sometimes when we're working in these shared documents such as this, something happens. My students tell me this all the time. Mr. Horn, something happened. And things happen all the time. And when something happens, it's never something good. Perhaps information got deleted. You come right up to the undo arrow on your menu bar, and it will undo the last thing you did every time you click it. So that will bring back the something that happened. Um, I don't think I have anything else to say. Just remember to click off the cell after you enter your information and so that it's saved. All right, thanks, everyone.